Greetings, beloved hearts, family of light, my divinity to yours. Welcome to Ascension Star Portal. Thank you if you're new. Thank you if you're returning. Thank you for all your comments, the love, the protection, the positivity. Thank you for participating in bringing light to the collective consciousness. And in doing so, you bring light to yourself. We shall go ahead with part two of the Archangel Michael series, Clearing of the Mental Body. This is a continuation from part one, Cutting the Cords, and it is suggested and important that you follow the series in each of its numeric parts. At any time, if you wish to thereafter revisit a specific part, once you've completed the entire series, then of course that is very welcomed. The card that will crown the reading is Crystal Clear Intentions. Archangel Michael says be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. In this card you see a halo around the head which is very enlightened, very light. It is the awakening of the higher consciousness, the higher mind, and merging that with divine consciousness. In today, we will clear old patterns and old thoughts and help reprogram into positivity our mental body. You may continue as you bring your focus, your intention, your energy into a very quiet space, either sitting, standing, or laying down. Detach your mind and your thoughts, your body. From all environmental distractions, setting the intention with spirit, with your guides and guardians, to allow you this time with Archangel Michael, And as you gently focus on your breathing, in and out, breathing in love, breathing in light, and exhaling worry and fear and stress, in a few in-breaths and out-breaths, you calm and relax. Bring into your vision the cloak of light that was placed around you yesterday. Archangel Michael or today for some of you whichever day you are re listening to it refer to part one's reading and bring into your vision that beautiful sapphire blue cloak of light with the shimmering purple stars of light And affirm in your mind, I am safe and protected. I am safe and protected. I am safe and protected. Thank you, Archangel Michael.
Greetings. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is I, Mikhail, Michael, the Archangel of Love and Light. I greet, I meet, I love you, I thank you. As we continue, In today's message, we shall be clearing your mental body, for it is a place, it is a space that you harbour many issues. It is a place that you carry a lot of mental burdens and stress and worry, many fears, Many paradigms of consciousness that return with you from previous cycles that you are conditioned with that actually hold you captive and enslaved. You are trapped inside of your mind, by your mind, and from your mind. And this is because you allow yourself to be limited, to be restricted. You allow yourself to be cut off from the ever supply of divine consciousness by believing that it does not exist and the reason for that is because you are conditioned to believe it so that anything you create with your mind is just but an illusion it is not your mind is the brain of consciousness if you work with it then the higher steps that lead to righteousness and so I ask you to bring your attention to your mind to your crown center your head your brain your thoughts all of that which you call your mind and as you focus on that energy I want you to feel both my hands of light placed upon the left and the right parts of your head, your crown. Very gently comforting you at this time, quietening your mind. Teaching you how to quieten your mind and stop the mental racketeering. Feel my love, feel my light gently permeate through your crown, your skull, into all the parts of your brain, the left and the right lobes, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, through, down through the oblongata, to your thalamus, your hypothalamus, very much behind into your pineal and pituitary glands. These powerful centers of higher consciousness and psychic activation. If your eyes are closed, some of you may be seeing swirls and twirls of light, gentle cascadings, flickerings or sparkles. It is normal. I am present. For others, just a stillness or perhaps a struggle to concentrate. Practice will help you. The warmth and the love that flows goes right into every little atom and fibre of your crown into all the cracks, all the creaks, all the holes and tears, and into every single part of you that you do not understand that exists, it is flowing. For some of you may feel a heaviness, a feeling of spaciness, feeling like an airhead, it is normal sensations and nothing to fear. 
It is now that I ask you to bring into your attention, in your focus, in your understanding of what is your mind. What is it to you? A place that you just put junk mail into? Unnecessary thought? A place that you feel is your cosmic bin, perhaps, that you can think thoughts and just archive it for whenever. I ask of you today to respect your mind. It is very much part of you, living, breathing energy and connected not just to your physical body, but to the etherics by an invisible cord through the fontanelle that stems for millions and millions and countless of miles up into the heavens, into consciousness. It is the cord of light that you are connected to. It is your invisible aerial that we know exactly where you are on the planet by tapping into that cord of light. We know who you are, where you are, what you're doing. We are able to track and keep you safe through that cord. We're also able to make contact with you through that cord. And as you progress, you will be able to widen that very thin and dulling cord of light. We want it to grow wider and thicker and brighter. But for now, bring into your consciousness your mind. It is heavy, it is dark, it is dense, it is toxic, it is worrisome, it is troublesome, it is stressed, it is distressed, it is oppressed, it is suppressed. Why? Why is it? Can you answer that? Why is it? Because you like a lick packet of licorice all sorts. You take in everything all at once and try to process it and then you fail. And then you distress your mind and then you collapse with fatigue and, and exhaustion. That is not what your mind is for. It is to tap into energies with us and to request help from us. But we can only enter those chambers, those rooms of your mind, if they are at a vibratory resonance that we are able to access. I want you to think of a, a garbage bin. You're filling it every day until it is so full that the lid does not close. But you keep opening the lid and filling it. And what happens? It starts to spew out all of that garbage, not so, and contaminate its environment and starts to breed unnecessary parasite. And that is what some of your minds are like. A lot of it, actually. And we need you to clear that so that we are comfortable energetically to get closer to you. So bring into your consciousness a large vessel, a bin, a bucket, a container, if you must, of your choice, the colour, shape and size, but let it be large enough to take in what you are spewing out, what you are vomiting out what you are releasing and offloading. That vessel is now placed in front of you by your own intention and imagination. I ask you now to release your fears. What are your fears? What is it that plagues you, that dominates you, that, that crucifies you? Let it go. Fear of lack and limitation. Fear of not being good enough, not having enough. Fear of loss. Fear of ill health. Whatever your fears are. Let them go now. 
drop them one at a time in this bucket or vessel. Let go now of your worries. What is worrying you? What is it that worries you, bothers you and troubles you, that creates anxiety in your mind, restlessness, unrest, that gives you the physical headache, that many of you love to pop pills for, that we watch, oh, I have a headache, I need a pill. It is not a headache. You've created one from all of this. So we're helping you to clear and get better and feel better. I want you to free yourself, it is if it is your will and wish, of all your fears of worry and troubles and anxiety. Do not worry about what will happen if I release it. The human mind and consciousness is that if you do not have something to worry about, you will create one. You will create something. You must worry because you feel abnormal if you do not worry. You've got to find something to worry about, to stress about. You've got to be in the hype of everything, and that's what makes you feel normal. But let me tell you, you are conditioned to behave like that, because you've allowed it. And then you pop the pill to tranquilize. And then what do you do? You give your power away to a drug conglomerate. And then you can't afford that pill some days. And then you feel as if you are being killed your own self, your own mind. You can't handle it. It's an attack. It drives you crazy. We watch you. Not all of you, but a lot of you. Let go of lack and limitation. I don't have enough. I fear not having enough. I fear loss. I fear losing. I'm afraid I may not have enough to pay the bills. I may not have enough to do this or that. When you live in lack and limitation, you are living in poverty consciousness. And it makes you work harder. It makes you strife. It makes you struggle. And it affects your mental health. And again, you are popping pills. You are finding coping strategies, mechanisms to cope. That is all outside of yourself. Instead of going within and eliminating the root of the problem. I do understand that many of you are facing physical struggles and it is not easy to cope with that. And it's easy for me to say, let it go. But it is easy to let it go and you find that when you do, you will have enough space to bring in the divine energy of help and guidance to show you how to go about handling that. If you block us out, we cannot help you. We hear you shout and scream. We hear you jump in and out of your skin. Release everything that you have been taught and trained and groomed to believe that is bigger and better than yourself. Every institution or book that has said or misled you into believing that you cannot, should not and would not for you have the power to be everything that they say you can't, you won't, you don't. It is in your mind. 
Your mind is your biggest problem. Your mind is your greatest obstacle. For it is from your mind that you are feeding that conditioning and information into the rest of your body. It is that which is controlling the rest of your apparatus. Continue to drop into this vessel and offload and clear your mind of every single one that said to you, you are unworthy, undeserving. Of the ones that have said you are not good enough, never will be good enough. Of the ones that have judged and criticized, have labeled you of the ones that laughed and mocked and plot and plan and strategize against you. Let go of your low self-esteem, your feeling of unworthiness, undeserving, undeservability, Let go of your physical headaches. Let go of all kinds of mental discomfort and instability. Drop your pills into this box, into this vessel that you might be taking for mental comfort, to tranquilize, to help you forget, for it is just temporary. And let me shock you a little bit. Many of that is meant to keep you there. It is not a relief. It is there to addict you, so that you continue to fund the drug and pharmaceutical industries. Drop the pill and say, thank you, you've served your purpose, I no longer need you. You may now go, for I am stepping into my higher consciousness and light, and I will think in a higher way. I also wish to ask you at this time, if it is your will, if it is your desire, to ask your higher self to come in. The aspect of you in an etheric form that is very securely connected to the higher realms and that works as an intermediary between you and the divine. And as you welcome this energy, you might feel the sensations. If not, it is not necessary. But as long as you understand what this being of light is, an aspect of who you are that you can trust and that knows all about you, that has the ability to access energy on your behalf. For the right reasons. And as your higher self is in your presence, do say thank you and invoke. I now connect and merge with my higher self and I love and I thank you for being in my presence and for being the very essence that is carrying me forward and onward. I thank you for all the help and for never knowing who or what this energy is and now that I do I will be ever so grateful to make and bond very closely. Ask your higher self to tap into your mental body and help you to release old patterns and cycles and attachments that in this lifetime are redundant are obsolete, that are just sitting there, taking up space, contaminating the place. So please help you release it and open up your crown, your mind, and allow this beautiful being of light, an extension of yourself, to scoop up very gently all that you are releasing. 
or past life attachments that do not serve your growth or past life in this life experiences meaning things you've probably dealt with as a, a child a teenager in your young adult life or in your very recent past but it is in your past in this life ask for that to also be released for the higher and greater good of all concerned Do ask your higher self to improve in your mental body anything else that is necessary for your way forward. And that could mean shaking something away, coactivating something that could lead you on to something better that has been asleep or in slumber because you have been focusing on the opposite of what you should be and give thanks to this beautiful energy as it steps out of your energy field but in your circumference loved ones brothers and sisters of light You may feel a bit of tension or heaviness around your head or within. It is normal. And some of you may experience a bit of headache or mild to severe in the coming hours or days. It is normal. Please do drink a lot of water or fresh juice to ground yourself and keep you hydrated and to allow the toxins to flush. For you are now beginning a physical body clearing in part two. And it is imperative, it is important that you do. For to think better, bigger, brighter and broader, as the channel always says, you need to have the light flowing. You cannot accept the state you're in and you cannot expect a change if you are in that state. Let me use an analogy that the channel often tells others. You cannot polish a dirty surface. And she usually has people in knotted in laughter or in their knickers. And what she means is to see the luster and the shine of what you're trying to achieve, you must clean the garbage. You must scrub clean the surface. And then only can you polish it for the diamond to shine. So polishing a dirty surface is only temporary. For that grime still sits underneath and will ooze itself and seep to the surface. And that shine will be short-lived. So what we're saying is you must do the groundwork. You must do the cleansing in which to see the result. So we are asking you now in these series to spring clean, to irrigate, to purify. And when you come out of this, you will be a diamond in full luster and full shine and that will give us great joy because we will move ever so closer toward you and you will receive many blessings that will come from that I ask you to continue this work at a later time to return to the practice of releasing other little bits that you might have not had a chance to do now for it is too much and we do not expect you to do this all in one sitting because what you've accumulated is not from one hour 
or one day or one one year it is from a long time and it will take you perhaps several practices in which to clear and that is why we're doing the series the way we are so that you have the ability to revisit it in different parts as many times as you desire I now place my hands of light over your crown filling it with my love and light of healing of protection that you will from today think positive thoughts set good and high intentions manifest in your mind which is your powerhouse everything that is good that you will respect your crown and use it for the righteous reasons the righteousness for righteous intentions and you will only bring positivity in your in your consciousness in your everyday life and start using your mind your crown for the gift that it is it was given to you as a gift we did not send you here without all the tools we are asking you to please use them and to use them wisely Move away from things that do not serve you, my loved ones. Move away from situations that harbor negativity. They do not serve you. They leech off you. They are, you are their host. They are. I want you to imagine Velcro, like Velcro, like dust sticks to Velcro. That's what they are, the dust on your Velcro. It's time to let it go, to end this mental war and dominance and step into your righteous mind, into your crown and let your halos of light start switching on, one star at a time. You are in the star portal and that is for a very good reason. I now step back and out of your energy field and I will return you to the channel for she has requested that we give you guidance through the cards. Very gently, I ask of you to bring your consciousness into your body by becoming aware of your surrounding. Gently wiggling your fingers and toes or touching parts of you to know that you are fully present. And as you ground yourself back onto your, onto your seat or in your space, On the out breath, gently opening your eyes and bringing yourself into your reality as a new and improved sentiment of light, of higher and brighter thinking, intending, affirming and being one that is now working towards climbing the ladder and every step closer to the light into higher light Family of Light, we now bring through the messages from Archangel Michael and the blessings and the wisdom that he wishes to impart. 
dearest Michael, the highest order of light, one that graces our presence, our present. Please guide us with your messages. A sense of humor, for I am bringing you lots of humor. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so that I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experiences in a new light, in new order, to attract love and healing energy. So I say, start lightening up. We are lighting up your mind and lightening it from all of the absence of light. And with that, we bring you light-heartedness, humour. Light up your mind and light up your consciousness. And be humorous and ever so loving about it. We are ready to chuckle with you. We are ready to listen to some of your most crazy stories. We do listen to them, but we want you to know that spiritual humor is important for growth. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. We are working with your crown and it is there that you process in the dream state. So believe and trust and intend and affirm that the dreams you will have going forward will be of a higher vibration, will be positive, will bring wisdom and guidance. Become aware that some of you may be lucid dreaming. Keep a journal and document for I shall bring you messages. Drink enough water before you sleep so that you clear your mind and your energy and allow the fluidity of my wisdom, information and even symbols or sigils to come through, flowing into you. What else? You created this situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. I want you to focus on this card for a moment and see that she is painting. In the Cutting Chords series, part one, I cleansed your eyes and sent love from mine to yours to look and see the most beautiful aspects of life. And now with your mental body cleansed and being activated, you are able to create in your reality artistic impressions, artistic imaginings, artistic visions that you can bring into manifestation by holding positive thoughts. And I shall give you an example. Instead of believing or seeing that your cupboards are empty. I want you to visualize that they are full of everything you need and much more. Do not be unrealistic though. If you have a health issue and you are imagining the worst case scenario, I encourage you to bring into your vision good health. Do not worry about the details. 
hold the vision. So if you create the situation, you have the power to change it. If you've created the opposite of something, you have the power to transform it into the opposite of what it is. Archangel Michael, you wish to share. Yes. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries, cares, and concerns. To you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this. So you give the details of the situation that you are worried, concerned about to Michael in a divinely perfect way. And he will help you to resolve it. So what he's saying here is, If you created a problem for yourself and want resolve to that, you have the power to change it. And know that by saying such a prayer or holding an intention of positivity, you have the ability through your mind and consciousness to transform the situation. Now he says that I should remind you of something that I often tell others. And that is, in life, there are specific circumstances that we are meant to experience. But we have the power in which to experience it, but not in the hardness or the sharpness or the extremity that perhaps it was initially intended by the consequences of actions and attraction of energy based on that so what i am saying is if a person was meant to fall and break a leg the fall is fixed it needs to happen but you may just bruise your ankle and not break the leg so if you help yourself transform into better thinking and being and doing, you will harmonize the consequences that you were supposedly to have experienced in extremity. I hope that makes sense. And I very often use this type of context by explaining to somebody that you have the power to change the situation or the outcome and that is the part of free will that steps in to help you do that. But what is fixed is fixed, but you can soften it. And if you have accrued enough karmic points, you can actually harmonize it without experiencing it at all. It's like having that one dark deed on the scale and you have a thousand good deeds. That dark deed no longer needs to be experienced in the way it needed to. Your good deeds just completely overshadow it and eliminate it. And if that at all makes sense, then you are welcome to practice. anything else Archangel Michael yes there is there's a lot oh my goodness we can't go through the whole deck there's a lot okay so let's do the one that, the, that fell on the table God is in charge dear God please help me let go of the situation giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So you're being asked to trust in the divine. 
believe and trust. It is just validating what we've been saying. Honour and trust your feelings. Another message of trust. Thank you Archangel Michael for supporting, guiding and protecting me as I listen to you and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Now, in the reading before, I do remember seeing a card with a ball of light at the heart centre. And what he's saying here is for me to tell you is how that ball of light begins to take shape in sacred geometry as you progress into light. It begins to transform itself in vibrations, in resonance with your growth. And the more you clear, the more clear you become. Use your imagination and you will see the answer. And that is what I've explained. By using your imagination, holding a vision, to paint a new picture, become your own spiritual artist. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I greatly and gracefully accept and appreciate your help and you may describe the situation that you need help with. Quieten your mind and use your imagination through your new spiritual eyes and heightened sense of consciousness and you will receive the answer. And the last one. Well, there we go. Here it is. Here it is. This ball of light that I was talking about. Well, that's why he says, give this message. I did see the card, but I wasn't noticing um, the full picture in its entirety. So, from that to that, go forward fearlessly. Change. Your light will change as you grow. You will move into energy of, of the softer, higher vibrations of pastels from the deeper, darker, heavy 3D shades. Iridescence. And beautiful, beautiful light shades. As you become lighter, you will vibrate higher. All right, let's do a little bit of charms quickly and we shall end. My little cherub, and that is how he refers to you, that you are all little cherubs, stepping baby steps into your new growth, your new found essence of love and joy. We have the cross, which is the Christed energy, the Christed consciousness. And he says, I am a brother of light from the great white brotherhood of light, the Christed consciousness. And I work very closely with Jesus and other masters of light. So you can trust in me. He says, to remember, I used the word crucified, and there was a reason for that. Rise above crucifixion. Rise above the earth trying to crucify you. You have the sun, which is showing brighter days ahead, good health, and self-empowerment. This is the energy of the crown center. The sun of your crown is now lighting up. 
I have a seahorse. He talks about going into the depths and emerging ornamental. A seahorse. He's a beautiful creature. Rarely seen, rarely understood. But it carries a great vibration, showing you how you can transform. We have another creature, a little dragonfly, which is talking about also an energy that is not very understood, but has magical manifestation abilities that is in your garden, in your nature, above the sea. You've got the seahorse that's below as a beautiful creature. You have the dragonfly, which also is a beautiful creature. On land and take note of these particular instruments. You have a star, the beautiful star that you become in, allowing the light to flow through and to become this halo around you, the little dots of light all beginning to add up and take shape. The turtle, an energy of abundance, a lot of sea coming through. So it's about the SEA and the SEE. See yourself as the sea. The vastness, the ocean of magic and abundance, the treasures that are hidden, that from your depths will emerge. The shell is creating your new shell of life, your new boundaries, your new fortresses of light that will protect you. We have the Pegasus, another beautiful creature of the skies. So you've been given the energy of the sea, of the land and of the skies showing you that you now are ready to take flight. You can grow your own wings. And we have a little kitty, very proud, very feminine, reminding you that if you look at this, the tail touches the crown, which shows you that no part of you is separate. Every part of you is but a whole and complete. So what you may think is the tail end of something could actually be a grand awakening for you, allowing you to use your intuition and psychic abilities. Felines are psychic. So with an activated crown, a clearing of the crown into higher consciousness, you will now begin to use intuition at a more heightened level. And what seemed way down low with your tail Will now rise to lead you. Thank you. Thank you Archangel Michael for blessing us, for protecting us, protecting the channel and each and every one of the families of light individually and collectively. Beautiful hearts, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the core of my heart and all around it, for your love, your support, your appreciation, your kindness in sharing and spreading love and light across the planet. I bless you with incredible growth, higher consciousness and a grand awakening as we progress and move ever so forward and onward to become the stars, the true stars that we are, shining our light brightly and holding this unity ever so tightly. I love you, I thank you, and please do share with all you know that needs to be part of this family, that needs to be healed, that needs to receive this love and awakening. 
in service, in love and light. Stay blessed till next.